In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how you can boost FPS and fix stutters. For better performance here in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 1, I'm going to show you the best Fortnite settings, the best Windows settings and the best tool to boost Fs in your games on any PC. So if you're new here hit that subscribe button for more content let's dive into the video. Gear Up Booster is one of the best programs for the optimization of your ping while you play games using your wired or wireless connection. So get this paid program free from my description and play your game with lower ping. I go over to the game settings here at the top. As you know, probably it looks a lot different on this chapter, but scroll down all the way until you find record replays and turn all these off. Because unless you really like check your replays a lot, you don't need this at all. And one more thing, go into your audio here and sound quality. You might notice this is some high. You can turn this on low and this kind of makes a difference, but not too big. Might as put on low though. It's once you've done that, you can press apply. Go to my website. I give link in description. Now download the pack from here and follow me for settings. Once the 2 itself is launched guys, we can see that in here. Now we have general tweaks, advanced cleanup, downloads, and windows. And what I want you to do in the first place guys, basically make sure to copy everything, which I'm about to show you. What do you, you want to click on? The first place is enable exclusive full screen and disable Xbox Game Bar. We're going to click on it guys. And you can see now it's already been applied. And basically Xbox Game Bar disabled. It's kind of like this overlay from Microsoft directly in order to... We also have to disable the startup parliamentary, which is basically just collecting data on your PC. So we're going to click onto it as well, and we can see it's disabled. Then super important guys, disable mouse exploration. Basically normally on Windows, mouse acceleration is turned on. And the on. more you move around your mouse, the faster it's going to get. It's kind of like adds up DPI. So therefore, you want to make sure it is stable. To have a natural input, you will notice this so much guys, especially while free building. So therefore, make sure that this one is actually disabled. And of course as well, you disable Unisembly system services. We're going to click onto it. And you can see it's already disabled. And remove pre-insert applications. This is basically going to remove any, which is normally here on our Windows you know. Once you basically get a fresh copy of Windows 10. Windows 11, and we can see disable power saving is kind of more important if you're on a laptop guys. So therefore, if you are on one, you can definitely make sure to disable this one. Can also make sure to import the quick boost power plan. Guys, just simply click on to it. And you can now see the quick boost power plan is now applied. Under advanced, we're going to click in the first place. And the disable power frothling guys, we can see it's already applied. Then we also gonna click directly here on the memory tweaks. Making sure that the maximum amount of RAM hertz is actually applied on our PC. A lot of people have, let's just say as an example, RAM which can go up to, let's just say like for 1000 Hz, but the RAM is only running on 2400, with this one, you can fix it, then in addition, we're also going to click onto hard fat data queue size, click onto it, this going to especially reduce the input delay, for your mice and keyboard, or basically how fast Windows can actually, process inputs on your PC, so therefore, make sure this one is enabled, and we're going to go back here, go under cleanup. And then we can click on to clean all temporary files. I'm not going to do it right now since I already did it here on my PC couple days ago. So therefore, I'm chilling. But you can also decide for yourself what you want to remove directly, your normal temporary files, log files if you want to run directly to the Windows Clean Manager, or just simply clean everything with one click. Then finally, we're going to clean under Windows, guys. And that we have now some additional settings. And what you definitely want to do is make under sure Windows setting options to click on to disable notifications. Then we're going to click under disable clipboard history and disable transparency effects and once we done with that, we basically applied everything which could somehow improve our performance in windows and search up percentage 10 percentage and click this file folder and all you're gonna do here is just press ctrl a and ctrl d and this will delete all these files now these are safe to delete these are just temporary files your pc doesn't need anymore so if you guys haven't done this before they'll probably build up a lot and it will save you a lot of space and if this pops up press do this for all items skip or continue with administer to close it to and that. another thing and then one more thing somewhere to that is pressing windows key plus r and search up and search up prefix just like that press ok and do the same thing over and over press delete delete that close them then one more thing is going to do the temp one in the run thing instead of the search bar cause these two are two different things here actually once again delete skip and when you're done that, you can go recycling bin and clean those out. Going into your search bar once again and search up edit power plan or does power plan doesn't matter. Click on one of these. that the same thing and this shows up. Go to power options here at the top here and all you're gonna do is switch over your performance to high performance. Change plan settings. Make sure these are both on never and click change advanced power settings. This should show up here and then click under display. Make sure that turn off display is on never. And you can do this is optional if you go to crosses or power management click on minimum make sure it's at 100 a maximum of 100 like i said you don't have to do but that you can if you want to click apply ok save changes and close it to that go into wherever your fortnite installed mine's on my d drive so find your epic games fortnite fortnite game binaries 164 
and scroll down. You might as not. much as me, but it should look similar. Scroll down to find Fortnite Client 60 one. for shipping. Right click it, click properties, click on compatibility, and then click on disable. Full screen authorizations. Click apply and click change. High DPI settings and then make sure override high DPI. Clicked on and it's on. Application OK. Apply again and you can exit out of that. Do is going search to search bar once again to graphic settings. Click that and yours should look different than this. Like you might have none here. You might have I'm more. Not gonna what lie. I got one is 11. A bunch of random apps just showed that up. I didn't even put. But for this one, we're gonna use Fortnite. So I'm gonna clear it just to show you guys. How to do so it. make sure that this uh add an app is on desktop app. If you want to do this for a Microsoft app as well, you can just click Microsoft Store app. But Fortnite, it's a desktop app. So click that. Click browse. And mine's already here. So I'm gonna go back to my D drive. Click Epic Games Fortnite. Fortnite game. Binaries 164. It's pretty much the same thing as did I. last time. When 60 for shipping, make sure it's the just a shipping .exe the god. And when it's here, click options. High performance. And save then. You can exit to that as well. This did help. You leave a like and subscribe.